Exactly, Todd. I talked to a longtime paramedic fire chief as well as the head of ER at West Boca Medical Center, and both say no matter what the reason, you really are risking the patient's life if you choose to drive them to the hospital rather than calling 911. No one knows yet who this couple is that dropped off a 20-year-old woman dying of a heroin overdose or why they drove her to the hospital instead of calling 911. You could actually be causing more of a problem. A Deputy Fire Chief Greg Hoggart says there's no question that calling 911 in case of an overdose or any emergency is the best choice. Within six to eight minutes, paramedics can be there with life-saving equipment. Open the drug box and immediately begin CPR. Uh, mouth to mouth or through bag valve resuscitation and do what we need to do to support that while we start the IV or administer the medication needed. And in the case of an overdose, give the drug that can reverse it. Right here, naloxone, which is the actual name of Narcan. Dr. Adam Lacey, Emergency medical Department director, Medical Director at West medical Boca director, Medical West Center, Boca agrees naloxone might have made a difference. I think it's always safer to call 911 and get a first responder to, you know, help you when you're in a time of need. Hoggett says if you drive an unconscious person who stops breathing to a hospital, their brain is already shutting down. So that six to eight minutes that you're trying to drive, that you're not giving airway support or oxygen support to the brain, you're actually killing the patient. The man and woman who dropped off this overdose victim appear to be wearing medical scrubs. The woman even has a name badge. Ultimately, they should have called 911. That's, uh, let's, let's use the services that are available to us and uh, use trained personnel so they could, they could uh, make a difference for us. You see a lot of people. And the fire chief tells me that even if that Narcon uh, didn't work, that the other life-saving measures, such as CPR, might have helped save her life. Tonight, uh, Boynton Beach police are still seeking the identity of those two people who dropped her off. They want to talk to them to try to figure out exactly what led to this woman's death.